How'd you guys meet then? We're cousins. We grew up together. Huh? Oh, look. Here come Amara and Michelle. Oh, great. Why do you think they've entered the contest? They're girls and cousins, too. Fantastic! You're the best cousins in the world! The best cousins in the world! Depending on where you grew up, you may believe that Sera Uranus and Sera Neptune are cousins. Very close cousins. Very close cousins that love each other. Very much. Maybe Sailor Moon took place in Alabama. Or maybe this was a cover story made up by an American production studio to disguise the fact that Amana and Michelle, originally called Haruka and Michiru, were actually a lesbian couple. You might be able to guess from the name, but Sera Uranusu and Sera Neptune were part of the popular manga slash anime franchise Sera Moon. Sera Moon follows the adventures of a schoolgirl named Usagi, who has the ability to transform into a sailor soldier. Her and her fellow sailor soldiers protect Earth against many different evils, while still attending school and just being regular teenage girls. The series was very popular in Japan as well as abroad, and this would have been great for LGBTQ representation because Sailor Moon explored many queer themes. Unfortunately, a lot of the queer characters and and storylines were censored, oftentimes censored quite poorly, changing the context into something even more taboo like, uh, I don't know, incest? But I digress. After realizing that many kids from the 90s were robbed of really amazing queer characters, I knew I had to cover one of the most iconic lesbian heroines of all time. Well, two of them, actually. Let's talk about Sera Uranus and Sera Neptune and why they are such great lesbian role models. We are first introduced to Haruka and Michiru in the third season of Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon S. They are introduced as a pair, and it's immediately clear that they're a romantic couple. However, in the first episode that they're introduced, Usagi and Minako, as well as the audience, are led to believe that Haruka is actually a male. Not only does she dress very masculine, but she also has very stereotypical masculine hobbies. She's a pro junior race car driver and also likes to ride motorcycles. She also often uses the masculine pronoun boku to refer to herself. Some fans have argued that Haruka is actually gender fluid. However, I would say that Haruka is female, she just happens to be a little bit more masculine. The author of Sailor Moon has commented that Haruka is of course female because only women are chosen as Sailor Scouts. Anyways, by the end of this first episode, Haruka corrects Usagi and Minako's misconception that she is a boy. Michiru, on the other hand, is very feminine. She speaks very feminine, dresses very feminine, and her hobbies include drawing as well as playing the violin. And even her little catchphrase before before she fights is Sailor Neptune, here to fight with elegance. So you might realize Haruka and Michiru are a femme butch couple. Femme butch is a subculture within the larger lesbian culture, where the femininity or the masculinity of a person is acknowledged. Femme butch coupling is a real part of some people's lesbian experience. However, this type of lesbian relationship is often overrepresented in media because it kind of fits in nicely with the heteronormative understanding of a relationship. Because now, rather than seeing two females in the relationship, you can describe Michiru as the woman in the relationship and Haruka as the man. But this is not how their relationship should be viewed because they are both women. And there are a few places where the show could have been better in terms of not conforming to this heteronormative stereotype. At one point in the story, due to a series of complicated events, Sailor Saturn is reborn as a baby, and Haruka, Michiru, and Setsuna get to play parents. And while Hotaru refers to Michiru and Setsuna as mama, she calls Haruka papa. And I guess this contributes to the argument that Haruka is gender non-binary or is gender fluid. But if we were to go off what the author has told us, which is that Haruka is a woman, this whole thing with Hotaru calling her papa seems more to be about the expectation that there will be a father figure and a mother figure. But besides these small moments, the show does do a good job of not comparing these two to a heterosexual couple's relationship. First off, although in the first episode Haruka comes off as so masculine that some of the characters think that she is a man, in the rest of the story, particularly in the manga, Haruka is shown in both feminine and masculine clothing. And of course, just like the rest of the Sailor Scouts, Haruka's outfit as Seira Uranusu is pretty feminine, but she's never expressed any discomfort or distaste in this outfit, allowing her to not only be defined by her masculinity. I also appreciate that just because Haruka is the masculine one doesn't 
make her the physically stronger one. They're pretty equally matched in terms of fighting. And there's even a scene where Haruka comments that Michiru is always the one that's adjusting to her speed, implying that maybe Michiru is naturally the faster one. Generally speaking, Sailor Moon doesn't go too deep into the struggles of LGBTQ life, but Michiru and Haruka do face some gender-specific problems. For example, after winning a racing competition, Haruka almost gets ambushed by a group of male racers who say that she shouldn't be competing because she is a woman. And yeah, this has nothing to do with Haruka and Michiru's relationship. It's not like they're being targeted because they are a lesbian couple. But when I saw that scene, I felt a pang of anxiety. Because same-sex couples often do face this sort of verbal and sometimes physical assault. Another scene that stuck with me is from the episode where Haruka and Michiru compete in a couples competition. There are a bunch of stupid games they have to compete in, like Haruka having to guess which one is Michiru's hand out of all the female competitors. As you may expect, they do very well in the competition, but in the end they drop out. And it's not clear if it's because they thought the competition was stupid, if they wanted to let Umino win, or maybe they didn't want to cause controversy winning this couple's competition as a lesbian couple. Some people might say that I'm stretching it a bit, but Michiru and Haruka's backstory feels kind of like an analogy for coming out. All of the Sailor Scouts at some point must be awakened, and there's usually an external force that pushes you to awakening. Sera Neptune is the only one we know of that awakened herself, after having a premonition type dream. After accepting her role as a sailor soldier, she was working as a scout for a while before she discovered that Haruka is also meant to be a soldier but had not been awakened yet. So Michiru approaches Haruka to try to help with her awakening, but Haruka shuts her down. She knows that she's destined to become a scout, but she doesn't want to accept her destiny. She doesn't want to accept who she really is. Haruka's internal battle and self-denial are feelings that a lot of gay people can probably relate to. And the fact that Michiru is the one that helps Haruka come to terms with this and finally helps her awakening is a really sweet metaphor for coming out. So clearly Michiru and Haruka are in a very healthy relationship. They respect each other and trust each other, which allow them both to be pretty massive flirts without the other getting too jealous. Some people say that Michiru is bisexual because she flirts with a man, but this is a bit complicated because the man she flirts with, Seiya, is actually a woman disguised as a man. Haruka pretty obviously does not like Seiya, and Sailor Moon tells the other scouts that Haruka just doesn't like men. But Michiru corrects them and tells them that Haruka doesn't like popular men. In either case, the quote-unquote man-hating dyke is a negative lesbian stereotype. Anyways, okay, so what about Haruka? Does she flirt? <laughs> and oh boy, the amount of gay panic that Haruka incites in all of the Sailor Scouts. I mean, no girl is immune to Haruka's charms. And while well, I wouldn't say Haruka strings them along, but she's sexy and she knows it, and she likes to tease the girls. And it's interesting to see how the girls react to this cooler, older woman. Because generally speaking throughout the series, the girls are portrayed as boy crazy teenagers. And for each of the girls, whenever they have a crush on Haruka, it's hard to tell if it's because she seems like a boy, or maybe it's just a form of senpai admiration. As an older sailor scout, Haruka is a role model for what the girls could be like in the future. Do I want to be her? or do I want to be with her? I think this sort of confusing feeling is super relatable. And yeah, the girls definitely do tease each other about having a crush on a girl, but this is shown to be friendly banter. I think it's a positive and accurate portrayal that Sailor Moon and her friends are all kind of bi-curious. They're teenagers figuring out their sexuality, and the girls' relationship with Haruka and Michiru show them that there are options outside of the heterosexual mold. So that's it for my review of Seira Uranusu and Seira Neptune. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a part of a series of videos that I'm making for Pride Month, so please go and check out some of the other queer character reviews I've done so far.